Hello everyone. I can see there's a few people here waiting already, so welcome. Thank you for joining in so early. Okay, so how is everyone? I'm just going to do a little bit of chit chat um, just while people join because I don't really want to, you know, jump straight into the tutorial and have some people miss the beginning. So just a little chit chat to begin with. So how is everyone? We've had um, two weeks of quarantine now, but um, now we're pretty much in lockdown. It's just, you know, carry on, <laughs> stay at home. Not too much has changed for us. Um, I'm wearing a new microphone so please let me know how the sound is um if there's sound can you hear me everyone <laughs> okay so we have a few more joiners so pop onto the chat i can see it from where i'm standing um i'm i'm standing in the main connect the, the main section now of my um, craft desk so um i've i've moved along because we're going to be making this really big bag today and i needed the extra space so i've moved back to my old filming area and um, as it's dark outside I've got my artificial lights so I'm hoping the lighting's okay the sounds okay we'll be good in the summer because the Sun will be out and it will be nice and bright in here but um, so I'm just gonna quickly scoot over to look at the chat so I am still here um, that's good Louise says she can hear me uh, Claire hello Claire uh, she says you look and sound fine Okay, so let's have a quick shout out to some people that are joining in. So we have Janice, we have Creative Spirit Designs, we have Claire, we have Claire Douglas, oh, we've got two Claires here, Claire Windham and Claire Douglas. Hello everyone. Uh, thank you Claire, looks awesome, thank you. Um, okay, so who else have we got? We've got Brenda, and we've got Janice, I've already said Janice, and we've got Denise for Lucy. I'm hoping I said that right and she's from Calgary Canada I've got Carlene as well and she's doing well that's great to see hi Christine we have uh, Claire Douglas have I said Claire Douglas yes I have and yet yeah, people are saying they can hear me fine which is good so I'm I'm thinking this microphone's a thumbs up you may have have you ever noticed this when I've been um, doing my videos for the last few years? I do have a funny sort of thumb. It's got a little bit of a double joint in it. It bends backwards like that. My other thumb doesn't do it, but that one does. So, yeah, sometimes it grosses people out. But if no one's noticed, I've, you know, that that's happened. But, yeah, I've got a funny thumb. <laughs> Yes, Claire Windham, I had to buy a uh, Gemini uh, right beside me here. I had to buy an A4 die cutting machine in order to use my own dies because I didn't own one before. But I use it absolutely all of, all of the time now. I use it just as much as my regular Big Shot as well. So, oh gosh, I'm just seeing the, the replay because there's a little bit of a delay. I can see myself moving my thumb. That does not look nice, does it? <laughs> Okay, so I'm still reading some of your comments here. Okay, hi Kim. Hi Deanna. Oh, she's from Vancouver. Oh no, Louise, sorry. Oh, <laughs> does that freak you out a bit? <laughs> it, freak, it does freak some people out. And then everyone starts to test their own thumbs to see if their thumbs do it. So I have said, oh yeah, look, your thumb does it too. Your thumb does that too. Okay, so we've got a good amount of people in here now, so I'm happy to kind of start. Uh, um, if you've arrived late, um, this will be on replay. So if you're watching on the replay, um, don't worry. You can still chat to me. There is a different section for, for you guys. You can comment on there and I, I read through everything. I may not be able to reply to everyone, but I do my best to go through and give their little hearts to everyone. So. Um, yeah <laughs> okay so this is my brand new collection it's a very small new collection we have um, three brand new sets there is a fourth but that will be coming later on I think maybe even tomorrow perhaps I'm not sure um, okay so we have three main dies and I'm gonna move this big one aside this is basically what I designed in my mind's eye and this one next to it I doubled it up and this was my prototype after I got the die set back when I thought you know what I can try and make a, a larger bag so um, yes thank you love the safari bag so do I I love the safari paper 
and this is the other side to it. So I'll be showing you everything um, in a moment. So where was I? Um, I was talking about the die sets. So this one is the doctor's bag die set. Let me move that aside now. I just need to keep an eye on my screen. Yep. Make sure I'm still in shot because there's a 30, uh, 30 second delay from the screen that I'm looking at at the moment. So I have two screens going. Maybe I need a second monitor. That would be nice. Okay, so this is the doctor's bag die set. And I had so much fun. This was the first um, bag that I designed for this collection. I was just, I just had to have this one. I've always really liked this shape. It's like a bowler's bag. It kind of goes like a Gladstone bag, like a frame bag sort of bag. So I've always really liked this shape and I generally go for this sort of shape when I buy my bags, you know, for like putting my things in. So um, I re I'm really glad I have one now in my collection. So that was the first one I designed. And then we moved over to the suitcase. So this one is a really, really easy die set to put together. And I have made tutorials for all of these. And on the craft stash website and even on my website there's going to be some more photos of them so this is the suitcase here again using the pa um i keep saying papers but they're not papers they are actually designer cardstock they're 12 by 12 and it's 300 gsm as well so i've used velcro for these ones and i can say velcro because these are genuine velcro nice and strong so this lifts up just like so, and then it opens up. So it's fully functional. And in some of my other samples, which are currently at Hachanda, because they're going to be appearing on Hachanda tomorrow. So tune in at 12 lunchtime and 3 p.m. tomorrow. Um, you can watch it online at hachanda.com as well. Um, my more bags will be over there and there will also be some demonstrations that I've also filmed this week so you'll be getting to see my hands again on the chanda so that is the suitcase and then we have the cantilever box die set so I've got two samples here I've got one there and this one is made using the other cards, uh, designer cardstock as well. So it opens out just like so, moves out like that. And then we also have some supports in here too. So we have this large um, area at the bottom. So this is perfect for giving away little gifts and sweets. And these also open up as well. So there's a box that opens either side, top and bottom. So it's just like a sewing box or a toolbox so the extra dies that you get with this set um, are sewing and toolbox themes so you can kind of go for any theme you want and this one I have used um, making a Knitwit Collections paper so I absolutely love this one again these these fold down just like so and I've used one of my rolled flowers here from the flower and leaf die set and these also open as well and you can even pop these underneath as well so there we go those go underneath so they go all the way around so you can fill those with sweets or little trinkets so let's move those aside so I'm just going to read some of your comments again okay hi Shari she's from uh, New Brunswick in Canada and Genlitz Creations, hello, Ohio, USA. So there's people from all over the place. So I hope you're all doing well. And Claire Douglas is asking, what are the bags used for? Now that is a very good question actually, because we're kind of moving into um, like a, from gift bags to actually a bag that looks like a real bag. So. Um, you can probably use this as a, as a gift bag. It makes it makes a nice display item as well, uh, depending on what kind of material you kind of go for. So if you kind of go for, if you've heard of Craftex, I have some here. This is a Sizzix, Sizzix version of Craftex. You can wash this with, and you can sew with it. You can glue it. I wouldn't wash it after you've put your project together um, if you've glued it together, but if you've sewn it together, you can go through the wash. Um, and it comes in loads of different finishes as well. So these are all available 
on craft stash so i have made other things um using craft tech so i want to make this bag here with one of these rolls here so um that would pretty much make it a very like um maybe not a durable bag for you to use but it would definitely be um sturdier for you to use it around the house and and as a really good sturdy gift bag but mostly these are designed as gift bags yes claire's asking is there going to be a christmas set of 300 weight paper i'm i'm hoping so this is the first time we have done the papers so i'm just going to grab this one here it'd be good if you can actually have a look just make sure i'm in the shot there we go i'm hoping the lighting's okay i'm trying to avoid glare and stuff like that okay so this is the paper pad it's 12 by 12 and 300 gsm and it's double sided as well so you get i think it's 12 sheets yes 12 double sided sheets so this would be really good if we could actually have this in for christmas with some new christmas designs that'd be perfect for making your christmas gift bags as well so it's really good and sturdy so this is the other side to the blue so we have a patterned and a more more geometric plane and then here we have the reds this is kind of like a burgundy red and the geometric design on the back and I've used all four sheets um, for this project you need all four sheets to make this one so you need one for the front one for the back and one for each side and then you'll have little off cuts if you cut them down to um, eight and a quarter inches you have these little off cuts on the side there so you can cut these out for your straps however I'm making the extended um, bag today and I'll be going through that in a moment on everything you'll need to do to um, get your prep done for that so yes uh, hello everyone I've got more people joining in now that's all right Lynn there's um you can catch up again I think you missed the beginning last time as well but don't worry um yep so you can catch up so everyone's uh, liking the safari the safari design which is one of my favorites as well um so let's move on with what we're going to be needing to make this doctor's bag so um i'm going to be making the big version today this one here just setting things aside here because i'm running out of space so we're going to be making this extra large version so you can make a nice put a nice jumper in here so this is perfect if you have um, clothes to gift something not too heavy but something that is quite like large as well so there's loads of room in there as well so and the concept is the same for putting the smaller one together but I do have a tutorial for that and there will be a tutorial for that on Hachanda tomorrow as well okay so I've got the die set out here already now I like to tip the whole die set into one of these trays it's just one of those a4 um boxes this is this is the lid and it makes it so much easier just to rifle through and get the dies that you need so i've trimmed off the side piece to this to make um eight and a quarter that should fit the die i haven't bothered with trimming the top or the bottom so that that can that's fine that can just run through and on this die you'll notice that we have a larger strip at the top and a smaller thinner one at the bottom so this is the bottom of the bag this is the top and this is the direction so if your paper has a direction it needs to be normal way up if it's just a normal pattern um, just like this it doesn't matter but if, it, if your pattern has a direction it needs to be the right way up so I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine I have the Gemini next to me it's right here and um, so which means I can use it so um, I'm pretty glad to be back in my old area again I experimented with in front of my computer for the last few months but it feels good to be back here actually so I might just stay here especially now that I've got the microphone sorted out and you guys say that it works so that's good okay so I'm gonna run this through
apologies if that's a bit noisy. You have to let me know how that sounds. Okay, so that is that one done. Right, so you only get four patterns of each, so I've used all four to make four fronts, and I did cut them differently so that the pattern is the same for these two, and then you get more of the giraffe on this one here. So those two are the same, so cut four of those with the larger section of the, um, the strips at the top with the smaller strip at the bottom. And because I've run out of paper from that pad, I'm not gonna say, you know, buy two pads to make this one bag. So um, I'm gonna use the side panel. That's going to be gold. So the card stock that I've used, this one is from Crafter's Companion. I love this one. I have this in silver as well. So it comes in silver and gold and you get the matte, you get the mirror and you get the glitter. It's a non-shared glitter and you get quite a lot in here actually 10 of each that's 30 sheets and that is also available at craft stash as well so i need to cut another side so let's run this through and i've already die cut all of the little accessories and straps that i'm going to be using today so they're all ready i've already had a mass die cutting session so if the world wasn't in a pandemonium at the moment Tomorrow I would be travelling to Hachanda to demonstrate this collection but um, I've done the videos for that now so that they're not having guests over at the moment so we're all having to send in our, our videos. So I get to watch myself tomorrow which is uh, a bonus I guess. So that's going to be at 12 lunchtime, this is GMT and the clocks go forward, I think it's forward, we lose an hour overnight tonight. So um, that'll be at 12 lunchtime and 3pm. I think it's with Alex, uh, the first, first it's with Catherine and then it's with Alex I think. So I'm just going to read some of your comments again. I'm, I'm further away from the monitor now so yes Laura she's got it spot on Mary Poppins bag that was one of the um the labels we kind of gave it when we were trying to design this up together um and think of names you know I had like a Gladstone bag a bowling bag um what else doctor's bag style you know and definitely the carpet bag came in as well what I really want to get is some cardstock or paper in a carpet pattern so I can literally make a carpet bag that would be really 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 nice I think so uh, yeah a lot of people are loving the giraffes uh, Mary Poppins bag definitely oh someone's talking about chicken nuggets I've not had my dinner yet why are we talking about chicken nuggets see I'm too busy working and I keep missing the conversation so <laughs> okay I'm gonna have to read through the comments afterwards and and check out the chicken nuggets I do actually have some in my freezer my children kind of went off them for a while you know when your kids go off things and then it gets left for a while in the freezer so they'll go through stages of wanting fish fingers or chicken nuggets so what I'm doing quickly is I'm just folding all of the score lines and I'm going to use some red tape I think I've got some red line tape here so if this does go over an hour I'm sorry if it's going if it's past your bedtime soon um, if you do have to leave um, don't worry you can catch up later so I'm just folding everything down so we have the rounded corners as well I'll be showing you how to get those all glued together and there's a little bit of extra prep work as well for getting the bigger bag done so let's work out these two are the same and these two are cut the same so you, as you can see they are both the same um, 
I'm thinking I'm going to have one of each. Should we do it something like that? Yep. And then the other two can be joined together. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to join these two together. So this is where your Tim's Holt, Tim's Holt's, uh, Tim Holt's ruler, if you have one, comes in super duper handy. Grab myself a pencil. Oh no, the chicken nuggets conversation's still going on. <laughs> okay, so we're going to make a quarter of an inch mark on here, um, which is the best way to do it. Um, I want to be that way. Okay. So I'm going to use my ruler just to make sure I have... This is kind of like a paper crafting miniature ruler. I did it the wrong way around. There we go. Sometimes my brain doesn't like to go into reverse. Okay, so I'm just going to make a pencil line across there. And then on the same giraffe one on the other one, here we go, I'm going to do another pencil line. This is going to be a quarter of an inch. Love this ruler. I only have one of these, so maybe I should buy a second one. See, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. What am I doing? Let's turn it around. Oh no, I'm getting so confused. Okay, this is what we do. <laughs> no, it's not. Goodness me. This is what we do. You know when you think you had it and you didn't? Okay, right. Messing around is now over. We have our pencil lines in. Right, so here we have our pencil line. I'm going to use some red line tape. You can use some glue as well. I just want to use this to be quick and because this is a new roll oh it doesn't have the end that's all right then okay so let's add the tape across here okay so if you are making this one the smaller one the normal size one you don't have to be doing this this is the step that we're doing to make the larger one and there will be another tutorial out on just how to make the plain old um, bag without extending it. Okay, grab your bone folder. So we've got a little extra bit there. Okay, so this is where you need to make sure that you have your large line at the top and that some of your papers are, well, all of your papers are going in the right direction. They're not upside down. And if you're using a patterned paper, um, do make sure you have the two larger strips at the top. So what I'm doing is I've taken off just the top section of this tape and then I'm lining up the rest of it along the pencil line and then I'm going to reach under, I have this just off to the side, I'm going to reach under and then I'm going to pull up off the backing just like that. I've just pulled that out and then that should have stayed in the right position because I kept my thumb there. It's kind of useful having a bendy thumb. Okay, so let's do the same on the other one now. Add the red tape. I do have my glue gun ready. It's not on, but it's ready. I'm going to try and do some of the straps with that as well. I think I need to get a screen in front of me so I can see all your comments. Yep, still chicken nuggets. <laughs> Has everyone had their dinner? Uh, in the UK it's 8.30 so most people should have had your dinner. So if you had a takeaway, let us know. If you just had an ordinary food, let us know as well. I'm going to pull this off to this side. Okay, so I have the top section here. I haven't had my dinner yet. I fed everyone else, but um, I kind of had a mummy snack earlier. You know, you know, like a mummy snack where you secretly eat something. Now I'm not ready. No, I'm not, I wasn't hungry for my dinner, so I think I might make myself some chicken orzo soup after we're done here. That should do me just nicely. 
Okay, so we're now ready to join these two together. So we have the thin line here at the bottom, the thicker line here at the top. And what I'm going to do is just fold down the larger section. Do the same on the other one. This is going to be a very big bag. This is why I moved over to my other area but I'm, I'm liking it here so I might just stay. So this is my old cutting mat as well. It's a bit um, battered. So I might just treat myself to a nice big, um, another A1 size. This is A1 size, but I'm, I like it in black. That's, I find that's quite good for filming on. So I might just treat myself to another one in black. Okay, so we're going to use the same tactic here. So we're going to have the red line tape here. This is quarter of an inch and this little gap strip here. This is also a quarter of an inch as well. So I'm just using my tape across here. I have put most of these bags together just using um, Cosmic Shimmer, which I have put down somewhere, but I've got a bone to pick with you. Who bought all the Cosmic Shimmer from Craft Stash? It's gone, it's sold out. <laughs> I do have enough to keep me going, but ah, I went to order some earlier and it was gone. Someone's gone and bought it all. It's like, it's like toilet roll, isn't it? It's just gone. Okay, so again, I'm gonna do exactly the same. Pull this off to the side and hopefully the daylight would be better for seeing this okay because there is a score line here and a score line there so we're going to overlap these and put these together but just make sure you have um the prints with their f we're going to call this the feet and the head the foot and the head so the feet need to be matching the heads on the opposite side i'm hoping that makes sense because this is going to be the bottom of the bag. Might be easier if I show you at the bottom here. So it comes out in this direction, it goes outwards. Because there's nothing like putting a bag together and one of the patterns is going the other way. And we don't really want that look. Okay, so I'm just going to try and keep this in place while I pull this out. And there we go. So we have this very nice, large, very close to A3. Almost, this is almost A1 size actually. Okay. So I'm neglecting the comments again, so I'm gonna go back. So some, oh, Claire's had a slab of ribs. Well, we had that yesterday. Oh, she just got out of quarantine today. So did you go shopping, Claire? Actually, Mr. G went out for bacon earlier. He did manage to find some. He came back with two packs, so I'm going to put one in the freezer because we literally didn't have any left. Oh, yep, Lynn, someone stopped piling glue. <laughs> yes, Narelle, um, I saw a, another YouTuber just using it just like this. It's just, it's just so much easier to use it that way. It's a really nice, quick way to dispense it. Okay, so I am going to read all of your comments again um, at the end. So now we have this huge piece of paper. Let me check to see if it fits on the screen. It mostly does, it mostly does. Okay, right. So let's grab our side pieces now. We are going to make a little mark here from this section and this section there and the halfway point is two and three eighths. There we go. So I've just made a little pencil mark there. Hopefully you can see that. And then do exactly the same here. Two and three eighths. There we go. That's just gonna help us guide this into the right place. And then, um, we have the, 
these sections here are the left and the right of the bag and as you can see we have an overlap here so we need to be in the center of this overlap so just make a little bit of a mark there um, I'm going to do it on this side because it's easier to see so make sure your pencil line is in the center of that there we go okay so I'm going to add some red tape to this now I didn't get a lot of time to prepare for today's show so some of this I am having to do live as in the tape normally I would have things like tape ready and done okay and I'm also going to add tape here while I am at it so I'm going really close to the score line use the thicker rem red line tape if you have it I, I'm sure I do have it I did a really large order from everything is a pound I've got quite a few tapes so I just grabbed the closest one in the box about five minutes before I came on here so let's quickly add the next lot so I'm sure I do have a, a wider tape um, we'll put this on here the taper is already on there so I'm quite looking forward to seeing myself on Hachanda tomorrow I don't have to it is kind of nice not having to travel um, and I didn't mind making my um, demonstrations on um, video for that tomorrow as well because that's that's what I do so it was pretty easy to do that just transfer it over so let's press everything down this is quite key use your bone folder or, if, or ruler if you have one just to press down the backing on this because it presses it right into the car stock it gives it a really good sticky bond and it also makes it easier to lift off the backing as well so you're not there ages kind of trying to pick pick the sides okay so that prep work is now done we can move back over to here and I have my pencil mark there I have my dot that I made there and I'm just going to take off the entire strip you can kind of do it half and half like I did before but I'm just gonna go for it I'm feeling brave so I literally just want to see the score line sticking out and I'm going to pop that on there we go and again there will be a tutorial out for um, making the normal size one this is the extended version making the extra large gift bag so do exactly the same again on there press that down and if you have a rubber you can just rub that out so I'm just going to check the connection I haven't actually checked the stream health well oh, said it's healthy so yeah we had a new cable modem hence why um, there was no live stream on Tuesday um, Mr G he he came down with a really huge temperature on Monday and a sore throat and aches and pains so we think that could have been the virus so um, both my children had it the week before it's just me to go now so yeah I kind of feel a bit like a sitting duck to be honest so I'm not too sure what's going on if I'll catch it or not but I'll have he seems to be he's definitely over it the five days has passed and he's his breathing's fine so um, yeah we th so we think we think we think it, it, he did have it okay so I'm gonna lift this tape up and so on Tuesday our new cable modem arrived and they'd sent us the wrong one and we'd spent all week trying to get that um, the connection sorted out for that because we could still use the the wrong modem that they sent us they had to adjust some settings on their end so we, were, we, we spent about four hours in um, 
each t you know, probably about an hour a day on the phone waiting for the you know to be answered i can't find my cosmic shimmer anywhere where is it i have lost it I'm babbling on and i've lost my glue i might have to use one of my old ones let's see i might i kind of get to this stage and then i just move on to the next bottle i don't know if anyone else is like that this is quite might be okay let's see if i can get some out so i'm going to add a bit of glue just to here just for these little flaps here nope there's no glue coming out of there it's going to bug me now where has my cosmic shimmer ah i can see it i can see it's hiding it's hiding behind my thermometer okay let's get that i'm going to add some glue just here so yes, um, yesterday we got through properly, they fixed it, it's all done. So hopefully that will be the end to um, connection problems that we had. So I'm just going to roll this around. Hopefully you can see this. And then what I'm going to do is just make sure that this is lined up just like so and then press that down. And I'm going to lift it up so that you can have a quick look and see what I've done. So I've just rolled it around to make that side just like that. Okay, so let's do the same on this one. Actually, I'm not, I'm going to go the opposite way. I'll have to add more glue, I think, but I'm going to do this side first and then the other side I find. That's a lot easier. Otherwise, it's sort of like resting an octopus, otherwise. Not advisable. Okay, so again, we're going to roll this. I'm hoping you can see. There we go. Oops, sorry guys, I just knocked the camera. It seems I'm the octopus. Okay, so that is the first side done. Right, let's move back to this side again. I'm going to add some more glue. This stuff does dry pretty fast. Okay, again, roll it round. I do have a second webcam. Maybe I should set that up for the sideways shots. So maybe I'll do that. I'm just going to get all those little flaps stuck down. And there we go. So last one now. Let's check in what everyone's saying. Hello, Caroline. Good to see you again. And Leslie. Hi, hi Leslie. And it's gone quiet on the comments, so I think everyone's just, just watching. I do find that comments go quiet when everyone's really concentrating on what I'm doing. And again, if you're watching on the live replay, you can just add your comments just to the normal comment section and ask any questions if you do have any. Happy to answer those. Okay, so that is the last one. Ah, oh, thank you, um, Michelle Summer, she's in the USA. glad to see we're still crafting and she loves the paper so yeah this is the new paper as well it comes with the bag and um, we're just tuning in this is the paper here it's um designer card so it's 300 gsm so it's super thick and it's perfect for nice and sturdy for 3d projects just like this one okay so now here i have this huge bag now and if you really wanted you can line the inside as well but you would have to put the score lines in there as well okay so now we can add the rest of the bits and bobs right so let's go through with what we're going to be adding to this so on this one here we have straps here so I was going to I was thinking I'm going to double the straps because on these larger bags you kind of get double straps so I've die cut normally you'd need four but I've die cut eight so we're going to add eight of those and I've used the reverse of the card for that so I've got eight of those and then along the top here we have these gold strips you get the die for this too 
Oh yes, I have moved the camera. There we go. Sorry guys, I did not notice. Let's see if I can get that back. See, I've got I've got three things there to be keeping an eye on. Right, okay. So we have these gold bits here. So normally you'd cut out two. I've cut out four because we've doubled everything up. It's just like a recipe. Double it all up. And if you can hear someone talking in the background, that is my son. I think he may have forgotten that I'm live streaming. Perhaps. Okay. Because so I have said, you know, shh, everyone, shush. I'm going live in a minute. Okay, so I have here um, two. These are the handles. It's hard to see, and I might just have to get the dies out to show you which ones go with which. That would be easier. Okay, so we have these straps here, which would be this die and then we have the little strips here that is this die and here we have the shaped strap I love a shaped strap and that is that die there and here we have a handle I've cut out two because I'm going to double it up to make it super strong or stronger and again this has the stitching detail all of these have the stitching details so there's that one too and what else this one here is for this rectangle there and that one is for a zip feature so you can see we have this this cuts the outline of the rectangle and then it embosses that one so this sits on there like so and we have the zipper pull here I'm trying to pick it up okay here we have the zipper pull got a choice of two zipper pulls here so I've used the round one put the wrong one away right so that I'm gonna glue that one on there just like that and you also get a buckle here so all of the um, ones that I've made at the moment all my samples have the round buckle which I do really like but I want to try something different so I've taken the buckle from the suitcase which is a square buckle so I'm gonna see what the doctor's bag looks like with the square buckle so it's got me along the lines of thinking next time I do bags um, what would you guys say to a die set that is just for straps and different size buckles and other sort of um, um, bag accessory furniture sort of die set so so some larger buckles as well and some larger thicker straps so if you think that's a good idea let me know um, I do like to go from feedback so okay so this one here this also has the, the stitching detail on that too that is going to be one of the central closures there for that one so uh, that's this one here I'm hoping I'm still in frame and so I die cut two of those shaped ones and this one is kind of just going to be a nice um, decorative tag for the center and if you pop along to craft stash the website there there'll be links for all of these down below so that'll take you straight to each die set there are examples there from the, from the design team they have done a mar marvelous job on all of these bags and there are some really really pretty ones of this doctor's bag too so um, I don't know who's made what so uh, but I will be finding out who's made what because they were literally put up this morning so um, I will be finding out that hopefully yes they'll they'll also be at her channel I believe so we'll be finding out tomorrow okay so that's everything that I've die cut out so I had a massive die cutting session got everything ready so now I can glue everything together so let's get decorating so let's put all of these dies away I try not to lose any of the little ones um, here's a quick tip um, add a bit of tape there and then let's grab the die set here it is so if you have any little ones if you don't have a magnetic sheet just stick it there to the inside of your um, envelope and then it won't get lost okay yes I think my son definitely has forgotten that I'm live I'm live streaming because he's he likes to talk to himself quite a lot so um, yeah <laughs> 
he's definitely forgotten what I'm up to so I shall have to remind him when I'm done okay right so back to this bag I'm going to quickly check the comments again so yes yeah, so a lot of people are still in um, isolation as well so Yep, the comments are still quite quiet. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with adding our gold strips first. So I'm just going to add them just to underneath this score line here. This part here is going to be the inside of the bag. So let's quickly show you how this is going to go together first. And then that will be a lot easier. Okay, so we have those score lines go inwards, just like so. Use your tummy if you need to. And then this is going to bend in just like so and it's going to go together just like that so let's get these popped on first so these go just underneath the score line here and I've left the lid off my glue so let's see if it still works Oh, it only just still works. I might have to pick at that. Okay, so I'm just going to go up to this end here. Because we've overlapped them, we've lost about a quarter of an inch on both of these. So ordinarily, this strip here fits perfectly across the top. As you can see it's perfect it fits perfectly across the top if you're making the single one if you're making the double one you're going to have a little bit that pokes out the end there but we can we can snip that off once the glue has dried so let's add the next bit So that kind of creates, in a frame bag, you have the top section, which is part of the frame as it um, folds up. So this kind of mimics that feature. Okay, so let's do the same on the other side. Yeah, we've had some really nice weather the last week and I've mostly caught up on my washing. Um, the weekend is just not that nice. <laughs> Cloudy and a bit chilly. In fact, I still have washing on the line. Did hang some out earlier. It's still there. I'm going to have to wait for that to um, dry off it might it'll probably stay damp overnight now so I'm just gonna have to wait till mid-morning before I bring that back in but I guess it gives it a good airing and it's better than forgetting that it's still in the washing machine which I have done because then it does create a bit of a smell okay let's get this last one on now okay right so that is the extra detail on those sections so let's cut those off okay so i'm going to move on to this gold piece now with the stitch detail and i'm going to add glue to this section here because that's going to go on. we're going to fold this down oh, that needs a bit of gluing again we're going to fold this down this bit and glue it there so I'm going to use hot glue for this because it's just much quicker and easier and I need to put a refill in that I do have one handy just going to pop that on there 
and then while that is pretty much drying I'm going to add these straps so you can get your ruler out if you want I'm just going to try and I'm, I think I'm just going to go for it and eyeball it so um, I'm going to be doing double straps because with these bigger bags you sometimes get a wider strap or double straps I thought it looked a bit funny using the thinner straps on um, the other bag so I'm just going to glue that round hold that down if that pops up again I might just add a bit of hot glue I might as well while the gun's out again spend your time making sure you get some good um, like glue coverage near the edges and then I'm just going to do the other side as well. I'm going to try and do this evenly. There we go. I probably could have done with a bigger gap, but never mind. Okay, on with the next strap. Add some more glue. Sorry if there's a bit of a shadow. This is a very large bag. Again, I'm going to add this just there. I am covering up some of the elephant though. Okay, so those, t those are two straps put on. So I know a few of you may have already placed your orders for these already. So yeah, some people just as soon as they were out and I'd said they're ready to buy, people were just snapping them up. So I'm not too sure if this is going to be one of the die sets that sells out. There's always a couple of die sets that sell out whenever I release a collection, which is exciting. Um, it does complement the designs so but then it can be a bit frustrating because then we have to wait for it to come back into stock again then I have to kind of put it to the wayside a little bit and then get all excited again when it um comes back in stock okay so here we have our first two straps two sets of straps and I think that looks a lot better than this one here running out of space with just the single straps so I might just go on here and add another layer of straps on this one okay so let's get this glued now no, not glued we're going to add some velcro tape now because I would like the lines to be um, to match up the straps to match up the straps I'm going to move to my bigger scissors I couldn't live without these ones okay and I'm also going to use the full normally I chop them in half but I'm just going to use the full one because this is a big bag so I'm going to use the whole thing okay so let's take the backing off that. So these are from Amazon. You get a hundred and that's all I've got left because I use these on most of the bags that I make. I just find them so useful and handy to use. So, right, so this is kind of where you need a second pair of hands. So I'm just going to line the edges up. I'm happy with that and then I'm going to press that down. And I'm going to carefully separate these. I'm using my finger here to support that because we haven't pressed it down too hard. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just pop that into place by pressing it. That's really getting the adhesive pressed into the card. Okay, so let's pop this together again. I am going to have to sort that bubble out there. So again, I'm making sure that both edges are even and they're meeting. I'm going to pop that down. It's not going to like this for very long, so I'm going to get the um, 
the rest of the straps put on now so now I can hold this together so I, I can have the continuation going round and then I need to decide which straps I'm going to use for the buckles so we'll see how that looks so I'm just going to do the ins I think I'm going to use the inside straps for the buckles So I'm just going to put the inside ones on and then I'm going to quickly try and get the rest of the straps on because I can see at the either ends they are stretching out a bit. You stay in place you. So again I'm pushing these together so I can get them lined up and I've got some extra glue there. There we go. And on the bag that I sent to her chanda, I put some bag feet on the bottom as well. So just these are just ordinary um, feet there that you can get when you make when you sew bags for bag making. You can actually pop a hole in the bottom of here and pop those through, and they they're like split pins. So they're very easy to use. And I'm going to fix the bottoms in a moment because I'm really wanting to get these straps popped on so I'm going to use the um, top end which ridge end did I use yep I've used these I've used them this way around and what I'm going to do is just pop them on like that so let's grab another piece of velcro and then another one for this side I should probably see if they, they probably do do round ones, but I'm happy with this lot so far. So maybe when I go for my next pack, I will try and see if they do round ones. Okay, back to the glue. I need a glue stick. Uh, here it is. I put my finger in it. Okay, so I'm just going to hold this section closed while I pop that on. There we go. I take this off again, hold this closed again, and then press that down. So if you want, um, you can add this strap to the a little bit further down so then it holds the end closed but again this whole die set was designed for the smaller bag oh look I'm gonna have two. Oh, I didn't think of that I'm gonna have a lovely suite of bags a lovely bag set so at um, Achanda there's going to be another one of these bags uh, the suitcase in this design as well so I have a really nice set of bags there Okay, so let's pop this on as well. I'm going to try and get this more or less the same length. There we go. Hold these together and then press that down. Okay, we're getting there. So now I just need to make sure that our Velcro is on properly. So I'm just going to give that a really good press. And I'm going to do the same on the other one as well. So we're, we've almost finished this bag, guys. So the smaller one is definitely quicker to make, but this one is certainly more impressive. Perfect for the bigger um, gifts and items to put in there. What would you put in here? What? trying to think what kind of gift I, if I bought someone a jumper or a scarf that would go in there really nice and if you can imagine this in Christmas paper that would look really really nice too okay so let's add the other straps now and then it's just the finishing details you know I forgot to put the lid back on my glue again I need to stop doing that okay so now everything's more or less meeting I can now get that in the right place ah 
Alas, I pulled a saying that we can get a variety pack of the round Velcro. And they also come in square as well. I might have to get a few different different ones there to try out. Never thought I would get excited about Velcro. <laughs> there was a time when you could only get it in those long strips. I do remember that as well. You'd have to sew it on as well. It wasn't self-adhesive. Okay, so let's get that one on. Okay, so let's, I'm desperate, not desperate, but I really want to put, pop this one as well. I think that looks really nice there. So let's get that one on. And then on some of the samples um, from the design team, they've, someone's added this on. I really need to find out who's made each bag. But they've put this on, they've popped on a wooden embellishment as well. It looks so cute and beautiful. But yeah, as I said, they've done a marvelous job. So it's either Anne Melvin, um, Lynn Parker and also um, Sam, Sam um, Calcutt from Mixed Up Craft so I need to work out who's made who's made what. It's kind of like a guessing game because you can kind of guess each person's style and then you can kind of try to work out you know if you're right or not. <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna pop these on just at the top there. Oops, who has ooze? And I'm just going to pop that there. And then we've got the zip to put on, and then the handle, and then that is it. That is the. I need. I need to think of a name for this. It's extended doctor's bag, large doctor's bag. Um. Would you like to see this bag in miniature? So we have this size, um, we have this size, so can you imagine a smaller one just here? I think that would look pretty cute when you'd have a whole big set of three bags then, I think that would look really nice. So yeah, I do like your feedback and ideas as well. Because sometimes people ask if I'm going to bring this out or bring that out or do this and I think, oh actually that's quite a pretty good idea. Okay, so this is the zip feature, and I'm going to stick this onto the rectangle. And then here I have the zip pull. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to this. Turn that over. Um, where shall I add it? Okay, um, I'm going to add it to here. And then I'm going to put this on, I think I'm going to put it on the back. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the back. Just... I don't want to cover the cheetah's head. I'm going to pop it right there. So out of the paper pack, um, which pattern is your favourite? Mine is the safari both sides of the safari. I think they go really well together. Okay, so that is the zip on the back put on. On some of the samples, um, some of the um, design team have put it on the front as well, so it can go on either side. Okay, so let's move on now to the handle. So all I'm going to do for that one is I'm going to glue these two together. Yes, Louise. I'm saying, oh yes, a set of three would be so impressive, Helen. So I think maybe this little doctor's bag needs to come out in miniature. Maybe like a little A5 set. That would look really nice, I think. Yeah, so Loopy saying um, Gladstone bag. So this is kind of what it's based off. It's one of those doctor style Gladstone frame bags that's just a classic bowling ball bowling bag style shape so it's one of my personal favorites and I had a lot of fun and a lot of prototypes um, I think I still have them I'm not too sure if I still have them but I went through a different a few styles 
and sizes to get to um, this completed bag here. Okay, so that is now glued together and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe this off. And stick that on, even though I'm going to be using that again in a minute. Okay, so grab your bone folder. So I have two layers of the handle here, so I'm going to use my bone folder now just to curl that. There we go. Just like um, curling a ribbon. And again, if you wanted a larger strap like I have done um, with this one, I keep reaching out to bring these into the... Oh, these look good together as well. Hmm. Okay, so for this handle, I've used one of these straps here, one of the longer straps, and I've just scored it at half an inch, or maybe even a full, no, half an inch, um, just to make a larger handle, and that's been doubled up as well, just to make a larger handle, or you can go for the, use the actual handle, which I'm going to use here. So we're gonna have a small handle for this one. And then off screen, Actually, if there is time, what is the time? It's. I think we have time. I don't think anyone's going anywhere. <laughs> Unless they're going to bed. But hey, it's a Friday night. No, it's a Saturday night. Let's live dangerously. And I'm going to put the bag feet on as well so you can see how I do that. Okay, so I've added glue now to the handles. The score lines are done for you as well. And then I'm just going to add that just here. I'm going to be putting this on the the back end, the back side, and I do need to fix this. This is curled up a bit, so I need to fix that too. Okay, so that is the bag pretty much completed. Now, due to the size of this, it is very difficult to photograph because um, I need the, the space around me as well. So for the photographs that were out today, I went in front of my dresser. Um, to get the photos for that so I might just have to, to do that photo setup again and then take some more pictures of this one with this one in the front as well that that looks like a perfect set so I'm going to cut out another one of these and I'm going to add that here I don't want to cover the elephant up the elephant is just so pretty so I just don't want to cover that up right so let's move on the last stage now so I have these these are from I used to sew and I used to sew bags a lot and we don't need these little bits here we don't need those and you can get these off eBay or haberdasheries or bag making uh, supplies and these are the little feet and they they're like split pins they separate so I'm going to grab myself a pokey tool. This might be easier to do before you pop the handle on. And what I'm going to do, um, where's my pencil? I'm going to add a pencil dot. Oh, hello, where have you come from? There we go. Just to make sure they get a good even area. There we go, and I'm going to grab my pokey tool and I'm just going to go through there. And do the same on this one. It's so easy, it's even easier than actually having to make or sew a bag and getting these in. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke these through. Now I have my hole. These are a bit bigger than the hole, but you can just find your way in. Okay, and then turn it round and pop that in as well. There we go. So it does, it is a bit round round here, but you can pop, push that in. Okay, so let's open up the bag now. Oh no, the glue didn't dry. I'm going to fix that in a moment. I guess I should have used my glue gun for that. I've made this back to front. <laughs> I have my Velcros in different ways. It's because I'm talking at the same time. Yes, I do stuff like that. Okay, so 
The lighting is not very good inside this bag, but I'm hoping you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I'm just opening up those split pins and pressing them down. So I'm hoping you'll be able to see that. So let's do that on all four and then I'm going to fix the handle. So I'm going to turn on my glue gun again. Oh, I can't get this one open. There we go. Whenever I do these, I secretly hope that one of them doesn't poke up my nail because that really hurts. If that's ever happened to you, you know exactly what I mean. So I try not to use my nail too much on these. Yes, <laughs> Lynn's laughing at the Velcro straps are on the wrong way round, but hey, it's still functional. <laughs> oh, good, yep. Someone's saying that they can see the inside nicely still. Right, so I've opened up all of the split pins now. So those bag feet at the bottom, they're not going to fall off. They're going to fall out. So let's get this popped together and then we can um, do up their little Velcro straps. There we go. So I would actually put some, this area here, I would put it down lower so there's less space at the top here and just have it lower down I think that is what I would do next time but concentrating and talking is not one of my uh, strong points generally when I craft I craft in complete silence because that's just that's just how I like it really no music okay so I'm going to re-glue this handle back on now I'm going to do it with my glue gun Okay, I'm going to cover up the same bits again because it did rip it very slightly, but that's going to be hidden with this popped back on. Okay, so that is the bag finished. So what do you guys think? I might, I might just add um, something else on top here. I, I'll, I will literally need to find the right thing, otherwise I'm happy just to leave it as it is. Um, tags as well there's no tags that come with the die set so um let's have a quick look i'm sure some of you have some of my other die sets most of my other bags if you're collecting my bag dies they will have um, a gift uh, a gift tag to go with it so here we have the doctor's bag die set that doesn't have one this one has two these are really nice these are my favorites and uh, there's no tag on this one either um, I'm just going to fish these out. This is the first one. And I'm just looking for the second one. Where is it? Oops, I've bought the camera again. I have to check that that doesn't go out of the way. No, we're still good. We're still good. Here it is. Let's pop this away. Again, there's tutorials coming for all of these. They're already filmed. They're just waiting for the right day. Okay, so um, this is from the luggage, the suitcase, and these are the two die set, the two dies from here. This is one of my favourite ones. So you can die cut two of these. I would say out of gold and maybe craft cardstock and that would make a lovely gift tag on there as well but again if you have some of my other dies from my um, other bags then you know you're going to have those to choose from as well so i'm just going to quickly read through some of your comments again oh and um i know i've told julia not this already she was asking for um a tutorial on the luxury handbag gift ba uh, gift box die set so i do have a tutorial out for that um that will be out in the next few days as well so this is the luxury one so you can have 
I just love the shape here and you get the darts as well you have to glue the darts together so it's literally like a real bag same sort of design so you can have them going in or you can have them going out as well so that is the luxury handbag gift box I said so that's got some new brothers and sisters added to it so there's the big one here's the small one and here's the other big one I, I just don't have the room for, to have to have them all here let's line them up maybe like that so this one definitely needs a little baby brother or sister doesn't it definitely does I think so I'm just gonna turn my glue gun off before I burn myself on that because I'm reaching forward now so let's move these along there we go there's loads there and then at Hachanda I have the suitcase in the safari print as well so um, definitely do tune in to Hachanda um, tomorrow the clocks move forward I believe and um, I think it's at 1 or 2 a.m. in a few hours it will so we lose it I think we lose an hour yeah we lose an hour's sleep so but anyway we're all at home so it doesn't really matter no one's gonna be anywhere unless you work from home on a Sunday um, but yeah um, so that will be on 12 lunchtime and 3 p.m. on hachanda.com so tune in there and I will have my video tutorials for this bag as well and for all of the other brand new die sets and during the week next week those um, tutorials will be released on my channel as well so um, I don't really like to just drop everything at the same time so um, it's a bit overwhelming to be honest so I don't really want to overwhelm all of the viewers so I will be back fingers crossed fingers crossed for Tuesday the internet seems to be stable again for me so I will be back Tuesday and what I'm gonna do I don't I don't know I'm gonna have a little think and see what I can do um, is there do I have any suggestions is there anything that you would like me to make because I I'd like you guys to enjoy it just as much as me and I'm happy to make most things so um, if you're watching on the catch up pop your comment in the normal comment section and I, I'll read those too um, but for all the people that are watching live now if you have any ideas quickly type them in and I will be back on Tuesday at 1pm so uh, I'm just letting people to you know write and things I'm not going to disappear just yet. I will be disappearing in a few minutes, but um, there's still a good number of people in this room. Are you not wanting to go to bed? Well, for the people in the UK anyway. Uh, I, I read somewhere... Is there someone from Australia here? So... Leslie, that's a very Aussie saying, buggered up. I say that all the time. Um, yeah, I say buggered up a lot. And I'm sorry if that does offend anyone, if anyone classes that as a swear word. I know some people do, so apologies. But I do say, I do say that a lot. It's one of those safe words that you can use around your kids as well. Uh, well, it is, it is in my household anyway. So, um, so yes, please do keep your ideas coming in do you want me to do another simply made um, tutorial or something completely different from scratch um, I don't mind I have loads and loads of simply made craft um, die sets now so if there is anything that you've been missing and you want to know how to put together let me know otherwise I'm happy to do something from scratch um, I know there was a lady called Helen she is She's asked if um, she could send me some Egyptian hieroglyph stencils or a stencil with the hieroglyphs on it so I can now um, decorate the outside of, or the inside even, of the Egyptian album that I'm working on. I'm still not ready to go back to that yet. Um, I'm using a lot of my brain power at the moment um, for other things. I have a brand new collection I'm I need to design I'm about to start on that and perhaps even another paper craft society box that is potentially in the pipeline as well for me to start designing so but that is all I can say I might be doing another one but I'm, I'm not gonna 
um, confirm 100% until it's done but it, it's possibly in the pipeline and I think in the next week or so the Paper Craft Society box 7 which is my one um, let's have a quick look I've got it here here it is that will be released that will be going out in the post very very soon here it is so if you've ordered yours um, do make sure oh sorry if you haven't no what am I saying these may become available on the Craft Stash website. It's too late to order this now because we're on to the next Paper Craft Society box on the subscription. But um, if there are any left over, which I don't know if there are any, but if there are any left over, then they will become available to buy separately. Um, so if these do, I will make sure that I kind of shout it from the rooftops, get your, get your box. Um, they're now avail available individually. Um, if not, they won't appear on the Craft Stash website so um so leslie's asked me a question about mini albums um that lynn it that's a maybe it's a maybe <laughs> but it'd be really good um if i do i've already got plenty of ideas on what to make for that um so helen did you make a mini album with dyes like those or with dyes like what oh i don't know i do have a mini album die collection So, did you mean that? Um, I'm, I'm still reading through the comments, so... Yes, it would have been nice if it did come before the weekend. Um, but hopefully it will come in good time to make some Easter gifts. That would be absolutely perfect, wouldn't it? Because um, I have the box here. I need to reach for it, but my microphone won't let me. My arms are not long enough. Hang on a second. I might have to unplug myself. There we go. I just don't have the reach. <laughs> okay, here it is. So this is going to be perfect for little Easter eggs. So this is the little gable box that you can make with this as well. And you can also make these beautiful peonies from the die set as well. So you can have them flat like this, or you can make some lovely peonies like that so i'm just generally hanging out with you guys now because there's still a very good number so doesn't anyone want to go to bed yet i know if you're watching from the usa it's probably mid-afternoon early evening perhaps <laughs> so i go to bed really late so i don't mind so my son's still um happily talking to himself my other, my daughter's just probably on her phone Yes, I, I'm not too sure what the delay is this week, uh, this month. I mean, it's probably just the general situation in the world, but they're definitely coming, I know that. So, um, yeah, just a few days late and then we should be okay. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop off now in a couple of minutes. What I am going to do is I'm going to ask some questions on my social media so make sure you're following me on one of like um, Facebook and I also have the, the community tab um, section. I might be able to do a poll on there actually on what projects we're going to do next on Tuesday. Um, so I'll probably leave a choice, a choice of questions on there and the winner is what I'm going to do on Tuesday so I'm going to spend a couple of days thinking about that and then get the poll out so um, make sure you're subscribed to me on my YouTube channel and then you will automatically get my community updates in your um, in your what's it called live feed I think it is basically where all of your subscri your subscribers latest videos appear um, one of my um, things will appear there and um, I'll do a poll and you can kind of vote on that that's the easiest way to do the poll I can do it on Facebook but I think on Facebook I can only do two options which isn't much fun we want more than two options so um, on the YouTube communities tab I will and it will appear in your feed that's it the word feed yes so it will appear in your feed and then you can vote for that so make sure you're subscribed and then you'll have it will just appear on there so um, 
So I'm just going to read some of your comments and then I'm going to be off because someone was talking about food earlier so I'm going to uh, go make myself something. I think I'm still um, decided on chicken orzo soup for my dinner. That's really easy to make. Just chop up some um, vegetables and pop that in. I have some leftover chicken I can use too. So yeah so if you want to buy the the um the dyes there's links down below and that will take you straight to each page so you don't have to go hunting for them so the bag we made today was the doctor's bag and i made the extended version so i doubled but i doubled it all up basically to make a larger bag so if you want to be really brave you can maybe triple it up and that would make a super long sausage bag but i'm not too sure how nice that would look so there is that <laughs> So, okay, so again, yep, tomorrow, tune in to watch Achanda. I'm tuning in to watch my hands, see how well that did, that does, so. Yeah, so I keep reading all these comments. There's still a lot of viewers here, so you're obviously wanting to hang around. I don't mind, I don't mind. <laughs> Ah, so Leslie's asking, have you got any mini album dies? Yes, I have quite a few. Did you want me to quickly show them? I don't mind. So how I store my dies, I put them in, if I can reach them because they're my microphone. Oh, can I reach? Yes, I can. Here we go. I put them in Ikea folders just trying to reach so I don't knock everything over we all love a good landslide um, here they are just trying to pull them out okay all of my dies fit perfectly in these IKEA box folders they're really really cheap to buy you get them in like, I think it's packs of four now they are a little bit thinner than they used to be but these all fit in there so I've got all of my album dies in here and I keep it on my shelf I have Billy bookcases I have them all lined up so all of my dies are in there so we have um, a few of these have sold out already so um, I'm looking for the small binding that has sold out the small binding has sold out the alphabet dies have sold out um, so we have the large one here and then we have on the website there's going to be photos for all of these this is the midi this is one of my favorites so we have the midi die set and we have the additions for the midi um ba -ba -ba. midi album die set is there and that oh no i have two the same that's not right there we are, there we have the additions for that one. So there's those extra pockets on there. And I am halfway filming through um, a mini album die series as well. So that's the portrait album die set that goes with, da, da, da. I've pulled everything out now and I've made a mess. These two go together. So I just love these ornate edges as well. I do have one I made for Christmas. This is it here. This is these two together. And I've used the, the small binding for that. So this is the curved spine that goes over the top, it covers it. And then here we have the shaped pages as well. So if you wanted to get this one, you may have to wait for the small binding to come in in stock, but the other two, these two are available separately. So this is the portrait album die set the portrait album die set so it comes with the tags and the pockets as well so we have these side pockets too that with the ornate things and you can use these to put your photos on so this is a mixture of those two die sets I'll pop that there. Okay, so 
I could probably talk about these all night, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so yes, as I said, I'm in the middle of filming series for this. It's an ongoing series, so um, I'm just going to keep going and keep going. But there's quite a few out already if you wanted to pop onto my channel and have a look at those. And this is how I store all of my die sets. Each collection has its own box there. So, so yes, uh, Leslie's saying, am I keep, are you staying safe? Yes, I'm staying safe, yes. So Teresa's saying she needs to pick up her groceries. So I still have two more, um, I have, next week and the week after I booked I, I, I get my Tesco delivery every Tuesday and I have every, for the last 10 years um, and when this started to go a couple of weeks ago I booked all of my, my normal Tuesday slots in advance up until when their calendar ran out which I'm glad I did now because I can't get any more slots I don't drive so um, it's about a mile's walk to the nearest Tesco so I'm I am literally gonna have to go in. I do have a shopping trolley, so I'll probably go out for a nice walk on a nice day and do some shopping with my shopping trolley like an old lady. <laughs> but yeah, I do have people that can help me out, but it's not something that I utilise too much. So yeah, so I am gonna go now because this chicken also it takes me about half an hour to boil it up on the stove so the orzo does even though the orzo is quite small it does take a while to kind of plump up and be ready so yeah okay so watch out for my um the poll that i'm going to be doing on my youtube channel that will appear in your feed if you're subscribed um and then you can vote on the next project that I'm going to do and that will be appearing in the next couple of days and fingers crossed everything turns out and works out that I can come back at 1pm this Tuesday that, that's my normal regular live slot and um, don't forget to tune in at hachanda.com tomorrow GMT 12 lunchtime and 3pm as well so I'm going to stop streaming now and I'm gonna go and um, make my chicken orzo soup so thank you everyone for joining in it was really nice have it had to have everyone showing up that's really nice there's loads of familiar names here and hopefully you'll all be available next week and do let me know actually if evenings or the time that I'm doing it right now is a better time for you um, other than the lunch times that I normally do well UK lunch times anyway so um, it would be nice if I could do two a week, one in the, e one in the evening for me and one at lunchtime for me. Um, and then there's more chance of people being able to, you know, join in during the actual live stream. So thank you everyone and I hope you all have a great week next week and you all take care, look after yourselves. And, pe and if people do offer to help you, please take it. Um, especially if it's going to save you a journey and, and they're out anyway. So. Um, take care everyone good night Lynn good night and good night everyone because it's almost bedtime for us okay so thank you everyone and I'll see you again soon